Our second scripture reading, our New Testament lesson, comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 2, and I'll be reading verses 13 through 15. Matthew, the second chapter, beginning with the 13th verse, here, the Word of God. Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt. And remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. This is the word of the Lord. In the life of the church, as we follow the Christian calendar, the Christian year, we take time to prepare for the birth of Christ. We have Christ the King Sunday, followed by the four Sundays of Advent, and we are lighting candles as we work our way to Christmas Eve, and then on Christmas Eve, we have light that fills this space from many, many candles, and we celebrate this birth. But then it seems that everything changes pretty quickly. Now we have this passage, and Jesus and his parents, he's, he's on the run more or less. It's as if all that time to prepare, well, the The lights have been put out, the candles have been extinguished, and here he is on the road, and it all seems to become rather dark rather quickly. Bruce Larson was a Presbyterian pastor. Some of you maybe have heard of Bruce Larson. He's written a number of books, and he would do a lot of conference speaking And Bruce Larson used to tell a story about a turtle. He, after he got done working in the church, he continued to speak and write. And he tells about going to his office in Southern California, going to his office, riding his motorcycle. And one day on the road, he he saw this turtle that seemed to be a little bit disoriented. And he thought, well... I don't think there's any way that turtle's going to survive on this road without getting run over. So he pulled over and he picked up the turtle. He lifted up the turtle. And he decided to take the turtle to work with him. And so the turtle was a big hit. Everybody wanted to come see the turtle. And they were talking to the turtle. And then they tried to figure out what the turtle liked to eat. And at the end of the day, he took the turtle and drove back. And when he came to about that spot, He figured, well, maybe the turtle was trying to get to the other side of the road. So he put the turtle on the other side of the road and went on home. Now, Bruce Larson goes on to say, can you imagine that turtle trying to explain to the other turtles what happened that day? (laughs) I think we're a bit like that. We we come through this time of preparation and this time of of light and this idyllic experience, and all of a sudden we're, we're back out there on the road, much like Jesus and his parents were on the road, and we feel a bit disoriented as to, well, what's next? What are the points of orientation that we can still grab onto now that the darkness seems to be coming in all around us? And how is it that we are supposed to know what direction we're even going in? I think of Bruce Larson lifting up that turtle, lifting that turtle up off of that road and probably saving that turtle. You know, the prophet Isaiah, these, these inspired prophets, he, he used that same illustration more or less At at the end of the verses that were read from Isaiah, it says that because of the one that saved us, we were lifted up. So you have been, been lifted up by what has happened. 
what has transpired. You have been lifted up just at that time when you feel the darkness is now coming back around you. Um, You've been lifted up during a time when you feel the orientation points, the light has gone out, and, and it's not lighting that path as it seemed to do. We seem to just light this path during Advent, and then the light seemed to go out. And the prophet was very specific leading up to why you're being lifted up, what it is that you have when you're lifted up. The prophet speaks very clearly about gracious deeds that have been done for you. Talks about the mercy you've received and the steadfast love that brings this one who will lift you up, who saves you. See, I believe those orientation points did exactly what Bruce Larson did for that turtle. They place us into our future. See, Christ comes and we are not meant to continue to wander and be disoriented and feel as if darkness has closed around us. We are to be put into a new future because of the presence of Christ. And these specific orientation points have that ability to put you into this entirely new future. It's it's undeserved grace. No matter who we are or where we've been or what's happened in our lives or where we've wandered, undeserved grace has come to you. But I like that concept of mercy. I I think maybe the best way to describe mercy is unexpected mercy. You, You don't expect that care and concern for who you are. You don't expect to be given the break. It just doesn't seem like we have many breaks given to us anymore in this world. If anything, it is harsh, it's dark, it's hard. But you've received mercy, unexpected mercy. And there is steadfast love. See, we waver in how we love in relationships. We're all over the road with our relationships. We're constantly wavering. God never wavers in love for you. you know, that's, why, that's why Christ came. Never, never wavers. See, see, just when we feel as if the darkness is going to close in on us and we're very vulnerable out there on the road, so to speak, on the run, uh, you've, you've been lifted up. That, that's what this is all about. You've, you've been lifted up by grace that's undeserved, by mercy, this unexpected concern for you when it just seems no one else is really caring much about you and your life, an unwavering love, unwa- steadfast love. See, see, that is how the light shines. That, that is a beacon now of light in your life. And as we are lifted up and put into our futures, see, we are, we are that light now. We are that light. We're the light that lifts up situations that seem dark, that seem hopeless. Uh, we're the ones that are now present with that light that led us to the birth. See, now we take it into our futures. Grace, mercy, unwavering love. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen.